To a new video of mine. This video is going to be a new episode of my how to style series. I'm going to talk about how I style sweaters for the fall season. I filmed four different looks with four different sweaters. They're also very different uh, sweater types so uh, yeah don't expect only to see like chunky knitwear sweaters they're all very different and I also style them in very different outfits while still kind of um, sticking with my style they're all pretty minimal which I like so first of all I'm going to explain how I style these outfits and then I'm going to show you the lookbook part so if you're excited for this video please give it a thumbs up and let's start so the first outfit is all about this sweater this sweater is from Zara and it's new season so you can still get it in stores if you would like to it's super big and oversized super cozy and what I like about this sweater is that it's very chunky and it also has this very interesting um, kind of ribs um, in the sweater itself. The cool thing about it, and that's why I really like the sweater, is the fact that it's actually made this way. So they didn't damage the sweater, but they actually made the knit this way, which makes it a little bit more durable. So I styled the sweater with a pair of mom jeans, these mom jeans are from Colombier. I really like the wash of it, it's kind of mid-wash and I think it's very beautiful. Next up I wanted to add something very warm and trendy and I think everybody and their mother has this type of jacket. Um, this is a shirting jacket and I actually got this jacket previous year in I think May or something. Uh, I was hunting for a jacket like this even previous uh, winter or previous fall because I really like the kind of acne look-alike Sheridan jackets but they were too expensive and then I saw this online on Forever 21 but it was sold out everywhere and then like months later I found this jacket in the sale in the Rotterdam Forever 21 um, and yeah I immediately got it it was like 25 euros and for the quality that you get it's amazing it's super soft it's super warm it's made from this faux suede material and then it's completely lined on the inside and um, yeah I just love the jacket a lot of you are asking me where I got this because I've been wearing it loads but yeah I got it previous year at Forever 21 but I'm pretty sure you can get jackets like this everywhere but not for the same price because this jacket was such a good deal. So to finish up this outfit, I wanted to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, expensive and on trend. So I added these loafers that are actually look like loafers from Gucci. And uh, I think they're so cool because they have a little heel going on and I love the metal detailing here. I got them from ASOS for I think 30 euros. I'll link them down below if I can find them still. Um, and I think they're great. And the other item, which isn't a knockoff, is this Gucci GG Dionysus bag. I'm so happy that I got this bag and I've been wearing it loads. It's so amazing, it goes with everything. I love it, it makes every outfit look so cool, so stylish. And yeah, I had to wear this bag with this outfit. So for the next outfit, I wanted to style a very basic piece. This white turtleneck sweater, it's kind of, maybe it's a little bit off-white. And it has this rib material, it's super soft, and I think this is a staple for everybody. I love wearing white during the fall and winter. I think it looks, I don't know, very clean and classy. I styled the sweater with some ripped black skinny jeans. These are from Fashion Nova and they're super high waisted and they make my waist look super thin, especially paired with a belt and an all black outfit. I just got this jacket from uh, ASOS. It was pretty expensive, it was 100 euros. I fell in love with it and I had to get it. I'm definitely a coat kind of girl. I love investing in coats and I think they really make my outfits. But this is the definition of a cool girl coat. It's very oversized. I got it in a size 4, uh, despite the fact I'm usually a 6, and it's still very oversized on me. And the arms as well, like I still can wear a thick sweater underneath it without like feeling restricted. Um, and it is a combination of faux leather and faux fur. And I don't know if you can see it very well, but it has like completely faux fur on the back, so it's super soft. The thing that made me get this jacket, however, is the rose gold hardware. 
I'm completely obsessed with rose gold, so finding a leather jacket that had rose gold hardware had the perfect fit and was like still fall and winter proof because leather jackets here are way too cold for the fall and the winter. Um, I had to get it. So I actually paired it with my Alexander Wang Gaby booties and with this Alexander Wang mini rocky. And I just think it looked so cute because it was a completely black and white outfit, uh, but the rose gold details made it very put together and just very cool. I think this is my favorite outfit. Um, definitely let me know in the comments below which of the four outfits is your favorite and if you also are so into rose gold like me. So for the next outfit, I wanted to style a very trendy piece and that's a sweater dress. This sweater is from H&M and it's made from real mohair. hair. It was pretty expensive at H&M, but I actually got a 25% discount code on it because I, it was my birthday and I was part of the H&M club thing, which I didn't know that I would get a discount. So I only got it for like um, 37.50, which is, I think, a very good deal for such a big real mohair sweater. So I wore them with my favorite uh, tie-high boots or over-the-knee boots. These are from Zara and I think the heel of them is so stunning. I think they're very classy. Last but not least, I wanted to add a pop of color to these outfits. And as you could see, I don't really wear a lot of color. Uh, I'm usually wearing white or black or gray or some nudes. I love it, but sometimes it's nice to switch things up especially with colors that go very well with black and white and gray and i think this cobalt blue color is a very good example of something that is pretty bright but still i don't know it's still kind of uh, modern and not your average i don't know bright pink sweater or something i styled this sweater with my beloved leather pants from zara then i also added a black coat uh, this coat is from Zara. I got it previous winter and it's kind of a boyfriend's model, kind of a boyfriend blazer coat. Finally, I added these ankle booties. Uh, so, that were all of the four outfits. Uh, hopefully, this kind of explanation why I style certain items together is kind of helpful for you. And now it's time for the lookbook. I quit my job and I want to go. To my ghost with a trouble My skull's so closed and I just wanna love I will never let you down I just need to see a new landscape I just need to breathe in handscape Everyone hides a dream Like me
So that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up because that way I know you actually enjoy my how I style videos. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because um, I feel like a lot of people are kind of like, I don't know, don't really care about subscribing. Um, they're kind of neutral about it, but trust me, if you subscribe to my channel, you definitely make my day. I can't wait to reach the 100,000 subscribers, and if you subscribe, you would definitely help me out. So that would be amazing. Also, let me know in the comments below two things. First of all, let me know which outfit was your favorite or which sweater was your favorite. And also let me know what kind of how to style video do you want me to do next. So for example, do you want me to do uh, an outfit on fall for coats or just on coats for fall or winter? Or do you want me to do a video on how to style open boots or I don't know, there's so many things I can style. So definitely let me know in the comments below uh, what you would like to see next. So, I don't have anything else to say, have a fucking amazing day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well, and welcome to a new video of mine. So, today I have another new series starting on my YouTube channel. So, if you're wondering, my previous video was uh, 